Towards the game, combo collector and festival. Welcome to the top 10 highest CCC comic books sold on eBay for the week of April 9th to 15. Comic books are hot again, or comic books selling again, or maybe just some great deal this week though, because my number 10 book is ten thousand five hundred ninety nine. Most of the time when I do these um, top 10, my number 10 books could be like 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, but this is, uh, my number 10 book is over five figures. I haven't had that for a long, long time, so this is uh, definitely a good week though for the buyers. Or maybe also a good week for the Saro too. So anyway, this is a sub number one, CZ 9.8. This is the highest graded. So for $10,599 with one bid. Coming number nine, Mason Spider-Man 667. Uh, this is a Gabriel Del Auto Farian, CZ 9.2. Uh, this is one of those rare Farian combo that's worth quite a bit of money though. And this one have... Um, 28 bits and so for 10,600 and come from all the way from Spain though so that's gonna probably take like a month or two for it to arrive to your house so let's go over to GoCollect here you are GoCollect right here uh, the book obviously came out in 2011 and scroll down here so it's a, a 9.0 I'm sorry a 9.2 uh, so for uh, I mean the fair market value is 11,500 and then so for 10,600 so let's go across so not too many of these come up for sale though. This was the one that was on eBay. So if you look at the fair market value, obviously you'll say, well, yeah, I got it for $900 less than what the gold Club fair market value is. Come number eight, Mason Spider-Man issue one, CC 5.0. This one came on 1963. Obviously this is uh, the second appearance of Spider-Man. Uh, the first appearance of Mason Fantasy 15. So this is a good alternative. If, if, if the Mason Fantasy 15 is way out of your league, then this is a really good book to get. Um, this one sold for twelve thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars with seventy bids. Coming number seven, uh, we have in Kenny X Men issue one. This one came in nineteen sixty three. Because it's greatest CC four point five. First appearance and my uh, first appearance of my lead Professor X and the whole X Men team. And this one has the price price twelve thousand five hundred, and that's just over that price. Uh, this week we also have uh, zoom out a little bit. Uh, we also have a 4.0 that was on sale, and this one have an estimated 13,000, but it's actually sold for 10,300. So, unfortunately, I don't have a top 11, I have a top 10. The 4.0 would have made it to my top 11 if I do have a top 11. So, a 4.5 to 500, or 4.0 for 10,300. So, which one's a better deal? Please comment below and let me know what you think. Comment number six Superman issue four. This one came in 1940, uh, first appearance of Lex Luthor, and I was wondering when I looked at it, why this sold for that much, but now I know. Uh, so, and this one sold for 13,300 with 87 bits. Come number five, Fantastic Four issue one, CC 3.0. This is the first appearance of Fantastic Four. This one of off white to white pages. Uh, the asking price was 16,950, but it's actually sold for $15,000, obviously. You know, Fantastic Four is coming. Um, better get this book now before. Um, well, I guess the hype is there already, though. But before there's more hype, then that will cause the book to go up more in value. Come number four, Avengers Five, Signature Series, Stan Lee Signature. This is the greatest CCC 5.0 on Restore. Uh, this one, I don't know, man. $15,000 for this book. I mean, if I have to pick one book out of the top 10 that I think is overpriced, this is, would be the book, though. I don't think I would spend $15,000 for this book, though. Uh, no first appearance. It's just issue 5. Just have the signature label uh, with Stanley. Uh, that's a lot of money, though. For, uh, but anyway, $15,000. Congratulations to the buyer and seller there. Comment number three, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Issue 1, CGC 9.0. This one came out in 1984, first print with white pages. The asking price was $20,749.99, but it's actually sold for $17,000. Let's go over to Go Collect. Uh, here we are, Go Collect right here. Uh, let's go down a little bit. And we have a 9.0. Fair market value is 20000 and if you scroll across, obviously the fair market value seems kind of high though. But let's 
click on to so the dirty average eighteen thousand and the book was sold for seventeen thousand click on to this right here so this book uh the one year high was twenty six thousand and then the uh low was eighteen thousand so you got it for seventeen thousand dollars so you definitely get it for below what the fair market value is oh it looked like the high is thirty one thousand two hundred but that's not within the one year and so you got it for below the, the day so yeah i think this is a good buy i think there's a movie coming out soon so and they'll continue making movies of the turtles coming number two for this week amazing fantasy 15 this is cz 2.5 this one came on 1962 um, the sale was asking for uh, a little bit less than twenty-two thousand dollars, but it's actually sold for uh, eighteen thousand nine hundred. And just one week ago, uh, we have another two point five, and that sold for nineteen thousand five hundred. So obviously, the the book of lists went down by almost say hundred some dollars. Though. So the price is going down. I mean, this is just, the price is pretty close to each other since you're looking at almost eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand dollars. I mean, the book did, did dip a little bit, and I guess depending on how desperate the seller wants to sell the book there. Coming number one for this week, we're in Fantastic Four Issue 1, CC 4.0. First appearance of Fantastic Four team. This is the book is unpre not press. Um, the starting price was twenty two thousand nine ninety nine dollars, and so for that price, and I did mention a three point zero earlier, so to zoom out a little bit, so a three point zero, um, that was sold for fifteen thousand dollars, and then a four point zero for twenty three thousand dollars. So, for a one point zero bump, you're looking at almost eight thousand dollars. Though, so which one's a better deal? You want to spend fifteen thousand for a three point zero, or for uh, twenty three thousand dollars for a four point zero? Please comment below. Let me know what you think. And let's go to Gold Collect right here. Uh, here we are, Gold Collect. Let's go down here to 4.0 right here. 4.0. Uh, fair market value is 18,500. When you have 23,020. 19,051. And the third day at 20,500. Um, so let's click onto this. And the highest that this book ever sold was 31,069. And the one you had 20,800. And you look at the 30 day average. Uh, so it's 22,000. So this was the one that was sold on um, eBay. This number was sold at 18,000. Uh, probably might have gotten a better deal though. You probably negotiate or maybe um, with the seller there. And obviously, it's much, it's almost um, $4,000 higher than what the uh, fair market value of what Gold Collect suggested. Well, if you enjoyed the content, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye.